Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I'm excited to release the H17 connector in my store. Of course, this is not a new component release under general standards, but it is actually a new component release because my version of the H17, you can see right here, we've got the engraving on it. Um, this is the non-machine version of the connector. And then I have the machine version of the connector so that you don't have to do it yourself depending on whatever double shielded spindle cable you're using. And of course, I always recommend 16.4. This is best practice for a three phase motor, uh, again, for safety. And again, you can see the machining already done here on this connector. Now, I wanna cover some things. So I hope you guys are sitting there and really um, going to actually watch the entire video because there's some details here that really need to be covered. First and foremost, you can see the stress relief we have here. You see these ridges inside the connector. On my connector, I made sure that they kept them really low. And the reason I did that is because when you're using my 300 volt insulated rated 16.4 uh, double shielded spindle cable, this is the standard version. Here is my DS Flex version. And you can see the outer diameter is slightly different, of course, because this unit's using 600 volt insulation. And it also has a lot more yarn separators because it's ultra flex cable. This cable does not have that, so it's a little more rigid. Of course, I've got a small piece here, but I wanted to show you guys this, which should make you smile greatly, is that you do not need to machine out the standard connector if you're using my H17 connector, as mine is not the standard H17 connector as far as the exterior casing that's typically offered with HY spindle. So you wanna be careful of the exact model you're using to make sure that it will be compatible. Otherwise, you'll buy the cable and find out that the ridges for your stress relief will be too high and therefore you'll have to machine out the end of the spindle connector. So what you see here, you can see how that fits beautiful and just general termination would be required, okay? Now, once again, this is only applicable to using this connector, which is my H17 version of the connector, and my 300 volt insulated standard 16.4 double shielded spindle cable, you're good to go. Only if you're not using this cable in a tight cable chain. If you're using the cable chain that came with your robot and it's a small cable chain, which most of them are, make sure you have ample room because we don't want to do too much exterior flexing on this cable. If you exceed the MBR rating, which is uh, the maximum bend radius over time, you'll have an internal fracture. That cable will basically be useless. In which case, if you are using a tight cable chain, that's when you definitely want to step up to my 16.4 double shielded DS flexion, which again, 10 million flex cycle rating. You can see pure copper conductors, double shielded. This has got all the bells and whistles and this will last the life of the machine. Now, for this cable, we step up to the pre-machine version and you can see what we've got here. And this, my friends, fits like a glove. You can see exactly what we have here. So again, all of the labor has been done. You have now a selection of which connectors you can use. This saves you money if you're building your cables. Um, it will save you money if I'm building your cables. But again, keep in mind, and I will state this once again, this connector does not need to be machined if you're using my cables. If you purchase someone else's cables, you wanna check the exterior diameter of the actual cable you're using with me to make sure that you will not have issues because every cable is different. And believe you me, as I said, every H17 connector actually has some uh, variables that may not be exactly the same. If you purchase uh, the actual spindle that comes bundled with this connector, it's typically not going to have such fine ridges for the stress relief. So once again, be cautious of what you're looking at. Always ask. It doesn't cost anything to ask a question. And this way you know exactly what you're purchasing. And again, we can get you suited and make sure that your system is safe and it's going to be as stable as possible. Thank you all for your support. Take care.